So we are in Washington. We're heading uh, to Mount Rainier to, uh, well, how do you pronounce the campground? Ohana Prakash. Ohana Prakash. Um, and we're actually almost there. Turn left. Just like, then yeah. Continue straight. Like a half a mile. Um, and this area is just about like two and a half, two hours and 45 Continue minutes straight. north of Portland. In a quarter mile, turn left. So a site's not booked, so we just choose whichever one we want, whichever one's open. Yep. Okay. So it's uh, twenty dollars a night. So there's a couple of loops here. We went down A, B, and C to look for sites that look good to us. Oh, that's not too bad. Um, but we're finishing up C right now, and we're going to. Uh, that's right. What Mabel said. Good to go. Did you not tell like what number? It doesn't let you do that. We oh, okay. You have to check out a number of campers too. We have to check out in two days at noon. Yay, we made it. <laughs> The size of the stump that we have. This fire pit. Kind of lame. So. Yeah. I feel like this is the one we stayed at last time. Might have it's been. Really familiar to me. Yeah. I'm pretty. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I filmed last time, so I have to check back. Does this have a big rock in it? Nope, just different color. And there are bears here. Here's our bear box. You like that spot? We're gonna check out other campsite options. Sleep right here. That one kind of sucks because it seems near everybody. Yeah, that one's like completely open in the front. Yeah. I think we have a okay spot. Do you know what I'm really excited about this time? What? That we got chairs. Yeah. We always leave those at home. And it's finally starting to get chilly enough that she can wear her jacket again. Should we put her, her boots on her? No. Nah. It should just be more uncomfortable than anything. What are you guys doing over here? We will just eat. And I'm gonna get our bed set up. Nice. Got a full belly puppy? Mm -hmm. Abel. She looks like she could be more. So usually when we boil water over a fire, we get a bunch of like chunks of stuff in it, just like debris. Uh, but Haley put foil over the top of this one. Great idea. And uh, we'll stick it, have some clean water actually. We'll see. Yeah. Think it's already boiling? It's making noise, but I bet it still has a little bit of time. So it is done. Yeah. Tea while we're out. Alright. Oh, that 
was so much. Fuck. That was like all of it. Oh shit. It doesn't even fit in here. Shit. That sucks. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna pick up tea because that was all I have left now. Uh -huh. I just wasted so much of it. Maybe after dinner we can take a laugh around here. Maybe look at those trails. Up. Definitely. Hope that it's still a little bit light out. What do you have there? Got the damn most wanted thing in the whole wide world. Yeah, okay. I agree. Well, this is a delicata squash, and uh, I would say by far the best squash in the world. Can I go get that? Yeah, but I wanted to stand here and talk about delicata squash I'm instead. Okay. Always got to go get spoons from my dash. I don't want to. I just want to talk about delicata squash. Jesus Christ. What do you use this for? Here's your spoon. I remember growing up, we would go camping on uh, near Lake Michigan in the Warren Dunes, mm -hmm. and my dad would always make these fire potatoes, the potatoes in the foil. I think they always turned out well, maybe burnt a little bit. I think he told me that you could leave them in the fire overnight, like after everyone went to bed, and it would be fine. And I tried that before, and I guess it just depends on the fire. Am, we hold something to hide to ever come back down by the end. There's a song we will sing someone else by the end we leave somewhere too long to ever wander back by the end we give someone too much to ever close the hand I guess we haven't looked in there yet have we Going for an after dinner walk around the campground. Let's look at the other side. Look at the what? Other side. All right. Ooh, what do you smell? Whew. That water is moving quick. That's real powerful. Yep. Hopefully there's no rain tonight. Do you know if there is? I don't think so, but I mean, I feel like on the mountain, the weather forecast is not pretty unpredictable. Yeah. Am I recording? Yep. Uh, Mabel, just, Mabel just threw up. Uh, so we're in a part of the campground that's actually closed off. She's gonna leave her puke there. No Wi-Fi. No Wi-Fi. Uh, yeah, there's a road closed sign over there right before the bridge. Mabel, leave your puke alone. And I don't know, it's, it's kind of cool over here. Yeah. A little bit airy, eerie. Um, there's an amphitheater right over there and that's what I want to go check out. There's no dogs. Kind of eerie back here with no one here. Yeah. All right, so we made it to the amphitheater. Wow. So I guess all of this stuff they used to have benches on it. Wow, wow that's really cool. Yeah. There's stage and stuff. It's all grown over. I would have loved to seen a show here. There's even a fire pit that they can get going like during a performance or something. 
Ha.